play guitar better by playing smarter with Guitar Smarts in 30 three minute lessons. Here's one of 30 different things that I wish all guitar players knew. So let's get started. Strumming, downstrokes, upstrokes, and dead strokes. It may seem simple on the surface, but the whole concept of strumming the guitar can be as complex and varied at times as it can be simple. Let's take the direct approach and begin by defining what strumming is. In short, strumming for guitar players is a sweeping action, usually with a pick or a fingernail, causing three or more strings to vibrate or ring at the same time. I say three or more because a chord can be generally defined as three or more notes played simultaneously. Well, what kinds of strokes could be considered a strum? Well, to remain consistent with the philosophy of what Guitar Smart is all about, I'm saying that there are truly only three strokes that fall into the strumming category. The down stroke, the up stroke, and the dead stroke. Yes, that's what I said, the dead stroke. If you really think about it and consider all your favorite guitar pieces or songs, you can probably break the pattern down into its downs, its ups, and its dead strokes. And you have to consider the rests or spaces as well. Canadian band Trooper have a song called We're Here for a Good Time. The intro is one chord for eight bars, an A major chord, usually a bar chord in the fifth fret, which, if played down and up the entire time, would become quite boring. But the way the guitar player strums that A chord makes the song instantly recognizable anywhere in the world. In this image, we have a regular pattern of down-ups. D is for down, U is for up, X will stand for dead stroke. So we have D U D U D U D U. Now, if X stands for dead stroke, and we apply that to this pattern, DX, DX, X, U, X, X, and then slowly speed it up using an A major chord, we'll notice that this pattern is more famous for its dead strokes than it is for the actual A major chords that are being played. There are five dead strokes and only three A major chords in the entire pattern. The endless combinations of down, ups, and dead strokes is what makes strumming stand out and many songs very recognizable. Take China Grove by the Doobie Brothers, for example. Here is a picture of this strumming pattern. Follow along, it sounds like this. If you couple the downs, the ups, and the dead strokes with the delay pedal that the guitarist is using, you get this iconic intro. Smart guitar players will listen hard to the anatomy, the flesh and bones of strumming in their favorite tunes and spend time breaking down the patterns. You'll find, and I mean every time, that the pattern is built with the downs, the ups and dead strokes, and creative use of rests and space. Here are some patterns to try on your own. Good luck! <laughs> 